Hello and welcome to part three of my decluttering mini series. Um, today we're going to be talking about face products and um, I think I only actually finished one of these. The rest of them I'm getting rid of due to the fact that I was simply never reaching for them or um, I just have products that I enjoy more than them. So let's just get started. Um, starting off with concealers, I'm going to start off with the one empty that I have and it's the Maybelline Insta Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser Concealer. This is my holy grail product. If all of my makeup burned or disappeared or whatever, this is the first thing that I would buy hands down. I absolutely love this concealer and I cannot recommend it enough. Um, a concealer that I don't necessarily recommend is this NYX Incredible Waterproof Concealer. I bought it in the correcting green color um, because I wanted to see if the green concealer would help with concealing my redness, but this concealer was not the one to go with. Um, it's super, super stiff. It skips on your skin. It accentuates your pores. Um, it's just not a very good formula. I don't recommend it. Uh, even if it is a good deal, I don't really recommend it. Um, and then I got this little sample of the Big Easy BB Cream from Benefit. This is just way too dark of a color for me. I'm going to give this one to my mom. Um, I have heard very good things about this BB Cream though. I am not personally a very big fan of BB Creams because like I mentioned before on my channel, I just don't even really wear liquid foundations on my face. So BB Creams is the same thing. Um, it just, I feel like they clog my pores even when they're non comedogenic or however you say that. Or even if this were in my color, I probably wouldn't have used it. Um, and then the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is actually almost gone. I think I'm like up to here, actually on here, but it was laying on its side, so now it's not coming off the sides. Um, I have used this in quite a few of my videos, but I've just found other foundations that when I do use foundation, I enjoy more. And this one, I don't know, like it was fine, but it just felt so thick on me. And that's what I don't like about foundation. So I have found other foundations that feel a lot thinner and still give me the coverage that I want when I do wear a foundation. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of this one. And plus, like I said, it's, I've used quite a bit of it anyway. So I feel all right getting rid of that one. <laughs> And then um, moving on to translucent and setting powders, um, this e.l.f. translucent mattifying powder, I did use it quite a bit of it, but I realized that it was breaking me out. So this formula does not agree with my skin, so I will be giving this one away or throwing it out, whichever, but um, it just didn't work on my skin. I would get a bunch of little texture blemishes everywhere, so that one wasn't for me. Um, and then this Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. Um, I bought this because I wanted to try a mattifying translucent powder in the summertime. I think I bought it in August. Um, and I felt like it made me more oily. Like it would trap the oils, but it's it felt oily. Like it just felt like a film was sitting on top of my skin. So I wasn't a fan of it. It wasn't for me. Um, moving on to bronzers, I have this Glimmer Bronzer by Bonbell. Um, this is sold at Walmart. This one is a loose powder and it has a lot of shimmer in it and like I said, it's very, very dark. Um, so I just find it that it's very difficult to work with and I have other bronzers that I enjoy more. So I will be giving this one away. And then I have this Positions Formula Bronzer and it's their Pearls of Perfection Multicolored Light Bronzer. Um, this one I used for a very long time, but now um, I feel like it's just too light for me. It's also, once again, difficult to work with because they are pearls. Um, they always get stuck in my brushes and they go fly across my room and I have a white carpet, so it's just a recipe for disaster. Um, this would be a very nice setting powder for anyone with a slightly darker skin tone than me, but like I said, it's too light of a bronzer for me, so passing that one on. And then this Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer. Um, this one is just too orangey yellow tone for me, and it's also very shimmery, and because I am oily, I prefer matte bronzers, and 
between the color and the finish it's just not for me so i'm going to be giving this one away to someone who will get more use out of it than i ever did because i only used it once <laughs> and then this revlon bronzer in 01 natural bronze uh this one i used quite a bit of i used at least half of it over half of it but once again um it's more shimmery than matte and it's also getting pretty close to its expiration date, I feel. So this one I'm just gonna be tossing. Um, I've had it for a while, so it's time. And then moving on to blushes, um, I have this Sexy Cheek Mosaic Luminous Blush from Victoria's Secret. This is more of a blush topper, I feel. It's a very, very sheer color and it is kind of shimmery. Um, it's kind of a chalky formula though and I just, once again, I prefer matte blushes, so this one didn't really do any much for me, and I only used it a couple of times, so gonna be getting rid of that one. And then this Too Faced blush in Flushed Oive. Um, this is one of our older formulas of blush, but I have had it for a while, and it's once again, it's getting close to its expiration date, but it was a really pretty corally color and I enjoyed it. It was, it was a nice little flush, but oh well. It, the time has come for that one too. <laughs> and then this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush and Glow Trio in Sunset Junction. Um, this one I got because I wanted a highlighter and this highlight is insanely white. Um, and it, ha it has like a almost duochrome finish to it so it's like white and pink reflex um the colors just don't really work for me i never really reach for it it is extremely soft though and finely milled so if you're looking for a cost effective palette um i would recommend it it's only 3.99 i think so it was super cheap um but this like i said these aren't colors that i reach for and I'll just be giving it away to someone. Um, and then this, uh, at least my last thing. Yeah, it's my last thing, but I've shown my NYX Butt Naked eyeshadow palette on camera before, and it actually had a face portion that you like slide out, and I just ripped it off the palette because I never ever used it, and honestly, they... I feel like they put no effort into creating these. They are not pigmented at all. They're kind of chalky formulas and they're just not very nice. Um, and the palette was so bulky that I just decided to rip it off and now it's nice slim eyeshadow palette that I love and it takes up so much less space and it's just the things that I'm using in the palette now. So I'm just gonna be throwing that away because like I said, it just was not made very well. So I wasn't a fan of that. But those are all my face products. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for a couple more installments of my decluttering series. Bye.